Welcome back to Inside Wildcat Country. You know, the month of October around the UNH campus saw action on the field, in the gym, in the pool, and on the ice. We know you can't get to every single sporting event, and that's why here on Inside Wildcat Country, we bring the action to you. After earning its second consecutive regular season America East title, the field hockey team plays host to the conference tournament at Memorial Field in Durham. The Wildcats finish the regular campaign with a 7-1 home record and a 4-1 conference mark en route to a 15-4 regular season record. The men's and women's cross country teams competed in the America East Championships on October 29th in Albany, New York. The women's team earned a second place finish, led by Sidney Fitzpatrick's third place finish at the meet. On the men's side, Daniel DiCrescenzo finished 12th out of 85 runners. The women's soccer team qualified for the America East Conference Tournament for the 11th consecutive year and saw four Wildcats earn all-conference honors headlined by Monique Lamont, who claimed all-conference first team honors. On the men's side, senior captain Brad Hilton notched a team-high 10 points, including a conference second-best six assists on the season, as the Wildcats concluded their 2011 campaign on November 1st against in-state rival Dartmouth. The swimming and diving team opened up its season at Siena on October 15th with a convincing victory, 126-93. The Wildcats look to continue their success from last season, which concluded with a first-place finish at the ECAC Championships. Junior running back Dontre Peters was named the most outstanding player in the football team's 27-21 win over UMass at Gillette Stadium on October 22nd. Peters carried the ball 13 times for 92 yards and notched two touchdowns to power the Wildcats to a 2-0 record in the Colonial Clash. The following weekend was UNH homecoming weekend in Durham. It turned out to be a successful one for the Cats, starting with the men's ice hockey team taking down number 11 Union College on Friday night resulting in the team's first victory of the season thanks to Kevin Dumas, who put home the game winner just 31 seconds into overtime. On Saturday afternoon at Cowell Stadium, quarterback Kevin Decker ran for a career-high 78 yards and a touchdown and found tight end Sean Cullen five times for 104 yards to power the 10th-ranked Wildcats past Rhode Island 31-24. to Sean Cullen. The women's ice hockey season is well underway as the team returned to the Whittemore Center for its home opener on October 7th against Colgate. Goaltender Jen Gilligan recorded her first career shutout, providing 19 saves for the Cats, while the offense was fueled by goals from Jenna LaSalle, Christine Horn, and Christina Lavoie in a 3-0 Cats victory. Ahead of the pack, moves in from the right side, puts it on the forehand shot, SCORE! Christina Lavoie puts the Wildcats in front one to nothing. The volleyball team sits second in the America East standings heading into the home stretch of its schedule helped by an October 16th big pink win over first place Albany as the Wildcats swept the Great Danes three sets to none. Senior Amy Ketting racked up 21 kills and 19 digs. Teammate Lauren LeCare notched a double-double of her own to spark the Wildcat attack. You can see the Wildcats live and in person by attending one of these upcoming home events or by signing up for live video streaming online at unhwildcats.tv. When you can't be there, be here, unhwildcats.tv. For a complete schedule, visit unhwildcats.com. Fans, November is making a difference month in Wildcat country. Help the Cats make a difference by supporting the Operation Hat Trick program. Operation Hat Trick is now providing fans the opportunity to purchase OHT blankets and a portion of the proceeds go to benefit Soldiers Recovery Process. Visit UNHWildcats.com to purchase yours today or stop by the merchandise locations at all men's hockey and football games to purchase one on game day. 